Uh, hello, hello. My name is Girk, and tonight we are sampling the Great Zimbabwe. Uh, it is Splatter Sunday, so we're playing Splatter games, obviously. Uh, Great Zimbabwe is by Jeroen Doman and Joris Virsinga. Uh, and joining me, as they typically do, are Alan. Hello. And Lily. Howdy, howdy. Uh, I have randomized the map, thrown out the gods. Well, that's a horrible phrasing. I have set up the gods. And we are ready to go. <laughs> we threw we threw them out. We threw them out. <laughs> I guess, I guess I do have a little Baphomet plush sitting in the back corner here, which is suitable for that. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get to the first auction before we uh, offend somebody. Alan, you are first to bid. Womp. I never saw it coming. Actually, hmm. Ooh, is there an argument for passing? And then maybe somebody feeds me a cattle and I take builder. <laughs> <laughs> no. Chris, you're going crazy with these gift subs. Thank you, man. Got a... Spam emotes or something. Why do I have to be in the middle? <laughs> I don't want to be in the middle. You know, Just pay, pay, pay your two cattle and take second or take first. No yeah, one else I'm is bidding after that. I'm going to pay two. You know, I do think there's something interesting around passing immediately, Alan. Um, there's a thought. I'm just scared of it. And so yeah, I'm not gonna do it. That's totally fair. That's <laughs> legit. Oh, have I got my. Oh no, that's. I thought I had my mic in the shot. It's just Lily's black piece at the bottom of my screen. Uh, let us. Ah, oh, blurg. Blurg, blurg, blurg. I'll take my money and pass. I will also pass because I have to. So grab your money. Thank you. Right. I am now broke. Oh, we didn't set Very up our starting. Time. We didn't do our starting monuments like morons. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, everything's I, we we have to go back and redo everything. Yeah, uh, I I knew there was something we were missing. I was like, what is going on here? <laughs> I gave you a dollar back, Lily. That's <laughs> We do this in uh reverse VR order, so I start. I'm sorry, guys. I sat down this, to stream and then my head was just like, "Woo, let's go out the window." Um I don't want to hold this up too long. Seems decent. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oop. Well, I suppose I wonder where I'm going. Oh, this is unfortunate. Um, Be a hero. Go up here. <laughs> <laughs> I will I will proceed to teach you the game. <laughs> based based on my previous calculations of craftsman placements, I'm really sad to take that spot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's do this auction from the top properly, now that we know our spots. Try again. <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, okay, so quality I hate content. everything. <laughs> I, well, I mean, in, in all seriousness, this uh, it's fine, I will live with it. This is a weird map. So, I mean, I end up going second or last. Pretty much no matter what I do here. So am I better off just Unless getting the money? You could bid high. 
Hmm. But Just if you bid, bid high, then you lose. No I lose a cattle. Bid two. What, you're gonna lose something. Well, uh, bid, bidding two is an interesting thought. Uh, it is an interesting thought. Because I then, if like somebody bids three after me, I I end up back up at three. I definitely feel like we have not explored the realm of bidding as much in this game. Yeah. If I bid two. Uh, yeah, I, I think that is the right play, though. We'll try it. I'm a crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to pass, so... <laughs> Nothing's <laughs> changed. Look, it's literally the exact same results as last time. I had a feeling it would end up that way. <laughs> That's well, I I tried to do something different. Guys. You did. You did. I refuse to let things be different. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, no, I just I really want a Nancy. Oh man. All right. Oh, you locked the. Little face plates. Oh yeah. yeah so that's Just so five, it's easy to pick up cows off them. Makes sense. For me. Um and then I think uh I would like to do craftsman. That my two to be broke. Um yeah, I think I want to do ivory. Oh, interesting. And I'm going to set it at three because I don't give a <laughs> shit. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really don't. Where's it going? Um, It's going... Where did you say it? Was this the right pistol location? What was uh, that that hits three of the ivory, and there's no way you ever uh, hit this one, so being no, further away... Hit. It doesn't hit all three though, because it doesn't hit this guy. That one's. Oh, away. that's right. Can you do this? Oh, you're right. No, that that's hit... screwy. Are you sure you want to do ivory then? Yeah. No, I don't know if I want to do ivory then. I think I might go for for wood if that's the case. I'm still setting it at three because I hate all of you. No, uh, I should actually think about that. Um. One, two, three. Yeah, that's the right spot. That gets okay. it closer to everyone, but I guess that you need to be within three of it. Yeah, right? I also would like to be within three of it. That would be good. Okay, yeah. All right, cool. All right. Um, What am I setting this at? I think I'll set it at two for now. We'll see how it goes. Do I want to set it at three and be a complete jerk? No, I'll set it at two. Okay. I will... Gosh, now that it was left for me, I'm super tempted by Engai. Ingai is very tempting. But I really want I mean, to try that Anansi. I did too, and it makes me sad. <laughs> I mean, there's... I feel like there's three, maybe four gods that really feel impactful, and the other ones are less so. Are you dissing my man, Zango? To be fair, Every Zango day. won me the game that one time I cheated, so... <laughs> Yeah, I'm like looking at her, trying to th trying to figure out is there a way to make that work, and I don't think so. Not with where I am, not with where my starting monument spot is. You just haven't seen the full might of a Zengo unchained. Oof. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, really bad. Is is it gonna be one of those nights? Is that what's happening? <laughs> it's always one of those nights. God damn it! Can it not be one of those nights? Yeah, I think I just have to take end guy here. I mean, a tat. So you may use each resource twice. Does that mean 
like craftsman resources for monuments? Yes, yes. You're allowed yeah, to place a resource, a, a used resource marker on top of one that's already got one. That's exactly what it means. Okay, so it's not saying I can use like the woodcarver twice on the same monument. That's it's just saying I can reuse already used resources. Precisely. Yeah, no, the the, the you, that, that's a different guy. God, Ziva just doesn't feel valuable at all with Anansi in the game. I wonder how much of, of this game is just wonky at three player and like we're stuck in this three player meta right now. I'm very Probably. curious to see that, 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 like what 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 in our meta changes when we switch over to four player. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying really hard to justify not taking end guy, and I can't. I, I, it is just the correct thing to do. I think. Let me here. Let me justify it for you. Uh, I want it, so don't take it. <laughs> ah, yes, that makes so much sense. Let me <laughs> take take back my play and. <laughs> Um, anyways, so that's going to be two cattle for the potter. And it's going to go here because I already mathed it out. Three, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. That works. Uh, and for pricing, hmm. I think we'll go with one for the moment. Garrick. Um. What do I do? Oh. I don't. I don't know. Alan, make sure you change your VR. Thanks. I also change my VR. So it should be at 28. Oh, how does that work if we have the same VR? Whoever, you, you stack them in the order they got there, and ties are broken. I think whoever got there first has the higher VR. Let me check that. Whatever reason, it's the one rule I keep having to check every game. Um... Yeah, where is it? The players are tied in VR. The owner of the bottom VR marker places their plaque first in the queue. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's already correct because I incorrectly rearranged it before. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I'm in the middle again. Damn it. So I I probably take herd because I got the one mm -hmm. cattle so I can actually use nah, it. Take builder. Take builder. <laughs> <laughs> you can afford it. And then I pay it and activate it. Uh... Well, you you can get an ivory. Yeah. Awkward that it only hits two spots, though. God, why is ivory carver just... Is it just baked in to be bad? I wonder. Maybe it's better to save my cows. Maybe up my. 
maybe up my monument instead and increase my revenue. Uh, how do I play around N guy? Carefully. I mean, what's the, I, I, I'm curious to see the interplay with the non C. I like what Lily did a lot, getting getting a craftsman uh, and and getting the thing to bypass it so she can set it to a higher price. I like that. Yeah, I kind well, of wish I went for the um, par I think I should have gone for the potter, though. Oh, yeah, I block. I have no clue why you chose woodcarver. That. I think because I was like staying in my like little baby section and that was a terrible decision. Yeah, because you could have had a monopoly upon a type of resource and I didn't think about it and I'm just I'm kind of blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm bad decisions already. Well, that was yeah, that was the thing, because with this up here, the only craftsman that it will have access to is the potter. So the fact that I can still pay myself for that is invaluable. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know why I'm an idiot. <laughs> I just, I think like a part of my brain was like, oh, you can't reach that place that like takes all of it. But I, like, I don't know why like my brain had already ruled it out. No idea. No idea. Um, I think I'm going to try out my idea and raise my monument. Um, and we'll pay, I guess, Alan because it's cheaper, so it feels bad. Yes. <laughs> I really don't want to be feeding N guy, but maybe I take advantage of it while I can. It's cheap. Um, so yeah. Yeah, that's uh, going to get me two points. Uh, oh, let me fix those. Turn off the sticky. Should save that fix. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. That's the whole of it. Uh, so revenue. I get two. I get my three from herd. And then we're on to the next round. Oof. <laughs> I'll pass. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I, I see. I see that. <laughs> I'm playing with the the cat. I'm playing with the idea we were going before with before. I like it. It's cool. I'm trying to see. What am I trying to do this turn? Does turn order matter here? Hmm. Two. Um. Is going last. Oh, I forgot to give myself my 
a victory point. Oh yeah, y'all both need a victory point. Oh yeah. I'm going to I'm going to pass. Cool. All right, Lily, you can have this cattle. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. <laughs> so, I think I will I'm going to take Builder. Isn't this the one that you're always uh, slagging? I'm trying it. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how this plays out. Um... I am going to take Ivory Carver. Actually, Builder probably would have been great for for Lily. Yeah, that was the other half of it. It's more just, I feel like Lily, even though she won't be paying for as much for resources, uh, she needs things that keep her costs down. Yeah. And stealing it is somewhat valuable. Uh, let me see here. I can't put it here because I can't reach that, right? Uh, I don't think there's any requirement for you to reach the craftsman. I don't think so. Mm. Yeah, this is mm, probably okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything about needing to be in range. I don't think we've played it that way in the past. Because hubs and stuff exist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what? This is stupid. Why am I doing this? <laughs> I feel like taking all the craftsmen is more a matter of economy, and I've already got Engai fixing my economy. Yeah, I feel like I'm trying to solve a problem I don't have. Okay, I'm just going to roll it back. I don't need this. And okay. I also don't need this. Oh my god, why? <laughs> um, I think in that case... Yeah, I'm just going to place a monument. And it's going to go right there. That's all. Okay. Um. You gonna get go hard into her this turn? I've considered it. Gotta get enough money for the diamond cutter. Or 
Americans. Uh, yeah, I think I'll triple activate herd. And I'll place a monument, I think, there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. So that'll get me one point. Okay. Lily. Wait, did I just move the wrong person? I did. Well... Wait, I should be back here. Um... Hmm... I like following trends. <laughs> mm, that's it for me. I give you your point for that. All right, Thanks. everyone get their revenue. Derek, you godless cur. What? You, you don't have a god. Oh, that's that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you stated facts. I cannot deny it. Next round. Wow, bidding all of those? Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> I mean, Lily's I first, anyways. So. Will... You're definitely outdoing me in the in the economy at the moment. So I will see. Heard might just be better. We'll see. I it's only it, it only worked at all because I got the one cow mm -hmm. in the first turn auction. Mm -hmm. Um I'll pass. Well, feeding Lily turn order last time didn't really help me, so... Huh. I guess it just depends on what you want to do. Yeah, it does. How do you collect a camel? I'll do one, two.
Um, Oh, this dang auction. I just bid it up to three. Um... Sure, I'll bid three. Ah! Yeah, I'm gonna pass. I figured. Okay! Got my original two back, but I at least bled the econo economic leader a few. Thank you for giving me two. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Alright, we're activating herd, I think, for four. Uh, one, two, one. Yeah, my numbers are slightly off. Uh, and then we're going to raise monuments. Ooh. And Garrick's just feeding the table some money this day. Uh, so that'll increase uh, by six total. We'll use up doesn't really matter. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay. Um Do I take it? Maybe I do. Er, I hate it though. I'm gonna take rain ceremony. <laughs> and one water tile. Four or three cattle. No! <laughs> I just drowned my cows. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to put them next to the card. How about that? <laughs> Sounds good. 
<laughs> uh, here, I think. Oh, why is everything horrible? Uh, yeah. And then I am going to pay for cattle to get the vessel maker. So that puts me up to 32. I get two points. See, this is why I bid you up, even though that lost me the cow I needed to activate herd three times. Didn't want to deal with this shenanigans. This is, uh, this is more me just making sure that I don't get priced out of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Because now it's worth the same as Lily's, but nobody can force it higher than I can. I'll put it there, I think. One, two, three. Mm, that's awkward. Hmm. Hang on. Maybe here? Yeah, that works. <laughs> okay. Um, I will spend two cattle. Um, to get me an ivory carver, and I'm gonna put it over here. Yay. Okay. So two po or one point for you and one point your and two VR. Yeah, um, and I will. Uh, the most I'll awkward location. Two. Everything costs two. I love it. Um, it's kind of awkward for for you, but it's not awkward for me. Well, it's awkward because it picks up these two, but not this one. There's no way to get all three. No, I know. But if you shift over, you get these two, and then a different one could get this and this one. So it's awkward because it devalues a potential other one. Which yeah, is good for you. At the same time, but... yeah, like I yeah, I I really yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Lily, perhaps you could pay the uh the dancer of the rain ceremony via using the the vessel maker. Uh -huh. well, just, <laughs> if, if you wanted to make a connection, that's all. I love Lily just ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you me. I hear words coming out of your mouth. I do not understand them. <laughs> hey, <laughs> moi. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Oh, oh, y'all should have yelled at me to like claim my shit. Oh, I've just been doing it when people forget it. I already, oh. I already threw one on there. I can't see it because of the color. It blends in for me. See no evil. Yeah. Speak no evil. No evil. Got it. I, I want to hear no <laughs> evil now. Come on. Oh, it doesn't work. All right. Did everyone get their points replacing craftsmen and all that? Uh, I did. I believe I, I did. Okay. Yeah, you did. Yeah, Alan gave me mine, so... All right. I'll wipe these and everyone get their revenue. Uh, that said, Lily, you did not get your point for placing your second monument, I don't think. So we should be at the same point value at the moment. That's that's fair. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Uh, I have the vessel maker, which is worth more. That's why. That's why we're different. There it is. Yeah, I should only be at four. All right. Next round. Oh shit, I need to get my money. Hang on. Oh, um, really quick. Oh, yeah. Mm. 
Uh, I guess I'll just set it on my board. Uh, yeah. How about one? I'll pass. I'm quite happy being last, apparently. I can tell. Um, because I firmly believe that nothing I do is impacting anyone. <laughs> I mean, I do like Anansi with multiple uh, craftsman types. You can potentially have a lot of boost in the mid game. Mm hmm. Just counting things. That is very much not allowed. <laughs> All right, I am. He's counting things. I'm in range of this counting thing. Counting. I promise. <laughs> I'm not allowed to count to check though. <laughs> All right, I'll bid two. Lily? She passed. I'm already on pass. I stayed on oh, pass. Oh, you're already on pass. And okay. also, it's you, unless you passed. I'm, I'm think. okay. I wasn't paying <laughs> close enough attention. I have to think about this now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, we're going to skip over me, but I'm not actually going to pass. <laughs> Does it matter? I'll go ahead and pass. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will...
Neat. I think I'm going to pay three to rain ceremony. Make this connection. Then I will place another monument. I think I place it here. That gets me another point. Oh, yeah. This is totally going to work. <laughs> You're all done? Yeah, that's it. That is an interesting move, though. You successfully solved your vessel maker problem. What's the vessel maker problem? <laughs> that it was still able to, it was still possible to build another one until this turn, that action you just took. Ah. Uh. And it didn't even need to be far away. It just, just had to be in a slightly different location. Hmm. Was that what you were planning to do? I mean, it, it was an option. I wasn't necessarily going to do it, but I was. I was considering just getting the other one and plopping it over here, and then. You know, uh, parasitically eating up things. Oh, instead you should just parasitically pay me money. <laughs> it is also an option. I have enough to upgrade my monument to level 4. Just awkward because it'll never go higher than that. Thank you, lack of diamond cutter. <laughs> well, we should probably consider shaman in this game. Uh, and I'm realizing how serendipitous it was that I made the stream title a pun on Shaman, and this might be the game where Shaman's super important. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> I'm starting to see more the value of rain ceremony. Because, like, the other piece being in the late game, I can potentially attach craftsmen to resources in order to be able to use the craftsmen. Yeah, that was a smart use oh. of it that you just did. Well, the other benefit is now all three of my monuments are connected to every resource without hubs. Yeah, you're you're taking good advantage of it, and it has me concerned, sir. <laughs> Do something about it. I mean, at the end of the day, I haven't upgraded anything. My income's actually pretty low for what it should be. So maybe your step here is to force Lily to actually pay for her upgrades by taking uh, 
taking another craftsman. Maybe a throne maker. Part of oh, me. No, I have to pay a whole two. Part of me wants two to be is more than one. <laughs> part of me wants to be really silly. Take Zengo. Uh, upgrade both of my monuments for at the cost of all of my money. Uh, oh no, no, you know what? I think I ooh, maybe maybe I can still do it. One. No, no, I can't do it. I'm I'm a dollar short to do both of them. <laughs> You'd lose all of your herd value. Right. It's it's so silly, but it would put me up 10 points, and I'd uh, have a VR of 24, so I'd just have to get four points before anyone else uh, can win the it's game. Rough. It would be funny. Uh, I do not oh. think it's the optimal play. I mean... Uh, um... No, because it would, it would a... wreck my economy, you know? If I could maintain... It... All right, so let's say you do that. Yeah, all Again, your cattle not... go out, but you're... A level four monument means you're getting four a turn still. True, true. And I mean, you literally worst case scenario, it would be four more turns. You just place a mon one monument every turn. Right. Uh, let me let me stress again, though. I am one cow short because I have to pay this hub for this one to reach uh -oh. the. Yeah. Yep, that's a that's a crying shame. It is. It show is. Uh... In that case, you should increase your VR by getting a craftsman. <laughs> well, now I wonder to what extent it's worth it to raise just the one monument. It's, it's action inefficient, but it does increase my revenue. And I have enough to activate herd once after doing it. Hmm. Gives Lily a lot of money, though. I don't know. I'm going to try it, and I think it's probably a mistake, but I'm going to try it. So I'm going to activate Herd once and then i'm going to raise monuments raising this one paying one to a hub to reach the ivory oh, why is that not locked down the ivory maker carver uh paying it two we'll take any of these doesn't matter uh paying one to the vessel maker and one to the potter Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, reaches both of those fine. Paying two to the wood carver. One, two, three. Yep, that's a okay. And I raise my monument a level and go up six points. Oof. And we're just gonna see how that goes because I think it's interesting. Uh, seems good. Seems Especially good. Considering, considering that I have twenty six points to get to the end game. <laughs> uh, and the really nice thing is I have Zengo in my back pocket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is the other thing about the three player game is going godless for a while feels like if you're not getting immediate impact out of it, it feels like the right almost the right play just generically. Especially finding out that that one uh, gives a refund. The the one I haven't been playing that way that I keep taking. I forget its name now. Uh, that makes it so much better. Goo, I think. Yeah, um, Goo. I upgraded stuff. Cool, cool. Cool. All right, I will wipe out these resource markers. Everyone go ahead and take your revenue. Oh, God. Oh, and I pay that to the bank. Why is this not locked down? Two, three, four. Okay. Dang.
Lily is sitting on quite a pile over there. Yeah, I paid her uh, four cows last round, and then she and I got two. Uh, I got two from the uh, the auction too, just because I refused to be yep. part of it. And that's on top I of really you wish... getting able to 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 yeah. pay yourself and getting revenue and stuff. I mm. wish there was a way of adjusting your craftsman prices without taking the craftsman action. That would be nice. It's an interesting twist that you can only increase prices, but it certainly makes the the market, like the game's internal economy, less dynamic. Um, not that that's inherently a bad thing or, or anything, but it, it is an interesting twist that it's just uh, mm -hmm. an ever escalating thing. Yeah. I can't remember if Container has anything like that. It's been so long since I played Container now. Oh, I would love to try Container out because I have not yet played it and I've heard so much. It is not mind blowing, but it is very good. It does what it does pretty much perfectly. That's pretty high praise from you. All right, Alan, what are we doing? Thinking. I just realized this game's kind of the inverse of infamous traffic, because in that game you can only go down, and in this game you can only go up. Only go up. I yeah. didn't think about that. That's really interesting. That is interesting. But I mean, in infamous traffic, it makes sense because you're undercutting people. Well, in this game. You, you can undercut people by just coming into the market. Right. But you can never adjust if someone undercuts you, which is the really interesting thing. But it's harder to undercut because of the resource limitation. Yeah. Uh, there's just so much going on. Not yet. We would like to, though, Crewmeister. <laughs> Probably need to reach out to them before we say uh, what the hell? it's even possible or anything. Ooh. Are you, are you bidding nine? Oh, no. Seven. Seven. Well, I've never been so happy to be last in bidding order. <laughs> <laughs> I wondered if this would be Lily's play here. That's five on everybody. Sure, why not? I've been eight, like crazy person. Well, unfortunately, I can't match it. So there you go. Well, I pass first because I can't match it either. So. Okay. Just gave Garrick all his money back. Yeah, you know what? I won't. I won't complain too much. That was one of the reasons I wanted to raise monuments last turn because I figured it was valuable to get in there before other people were racing to do it as well. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Unfortunate. You don't need any of those resources, right? No. Actually, conveniently, I did not need those resources, so perhaps I just spent all that money needlessly. <laughs> Definitely possible. Um, so I got eight from that, so I'm now with Garrick. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, so it's going to be...
Uh, what what is it? Alt? Yeah. Why is it not working? Oh my god, seriously. Whatever. Okay. Uh, so I raise all three of my monuments up to level two. It's going to be six points for you. Yeah. You're up to 12. Right, why can I only do it once? That's so annoying. Is it all right click? I don't remember. Well, that's what I do. And then it only works once. And then after that, I have to drop the whole stack. I don't know why. This worked for uh, me. But in any case, I go up six points. Yep, I adjusted you. Oh, thank you. And then I will rain ceremony, possibly. Still thinking about it. Um, I think I will do that. It just looks cool. <laughs> I mean, looking cool is like half the reason we do anything, isn't it? Oh, obviously. There's, I promise there's no side potential side benefit to that. <laughs> no, it's just looking cool. Nothing else. All right. My turn? Yeah. I guess. <laughs> if it has to be? Yeah. Well, now you have all this money. What are you going to do with it? Make poor Perhaps choices, like I'm sure. Open a diamond cutter and a shaman. It certainly is an option. And it balances itself out. The diamond cutter gets you two victory points, essentially. The shaman only loses you one in that situation. Eh, not quite. It doesn't quite work that way, but who knows? Ugh, ugh. Ugh. Finally, I am a fan of the sculptor for you, but that's just me.
I've got a couple different ideas about where I could take this. So it's tough. Real tough. I think I have to go secondary on one of Lily's craftsmen so she can't burst anymore because she controls her economy too well. She still has a non C, but it can, it, it can at least make things complicated. Or I have exactly enough to place a diamond. That seems like it's just opening it up for everybody else. Because all my money will be gone. Yeah, the problem with the diamond is, given that you can only put one diamond down a turn, the early stages, I think other people just get there before you and use it. Exactly. Which does feed you some cash, but that's not something you're hurting for. Yeah, and I think it's too late in the game to allow that. I think it would just enable a win for somebody. Well, just keep building up your monuments. You're, you're not far from... I mean, I, I think there is a world where you just plop down another monument and then upgrade uh, your two into a three and your one into a two that nets you seven points. Six. I oh, yeah, you right. still need to find seven. three. You still need to find three somewhere else. That's awkward. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Well, maybe you take Zango, plop down two monuments, and upgrade where you can. And the timing is yeah. just precarious because I, I have to try and find a way to weave it in around y'all. So part of me is wondering if I should go a Tet because that lets me use resources twice and I don't have to worry about y'all. But I still currently have the issue that I was going tall and I have to go wider. Uh, yeah, I think this map was like going tall is a little too hopeful almost yeah i did it just to help like kickstart i figured if i could go tall and feed her a decent amount every turn i could have enough capital control to do well yeah and it's gotten me up to this point but now now there's danger on the horizon i fear lily set herself up with a nazi to Burst to the finish from here. Well, that's, yeah, I mean, that's part of why I feel like the secondaries are somewhat necessary, even if Anansi, and she only has to pay one to each. Right now, she's just every upgrade feeds her own economy. Exactly. Which is really interesting, like that. At the very least, you have to force some of the capital to be diverted and limit the number of, of pure resources that exist on the map.
I mean, I, I will say if you can just burst upgrade a little bit, a tet probably is actually the way to go. Because it would stop Lily from being able to just bump everything up to three and locking locking you out of basically any upgrading. Uh, well, I guess, no, that's not really... That doesn't really work. I keep wanting to think it works a different way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you just take Obatala. <laughs> <laughs> Cho choose this moment to go wide and go wide hard oh man if if obatala was only like vr5 maybe maybe yeah it's hard it, um... hey. i do i do like the way anansi is playing here me too it creates some awkwardness I think what I'll do, it's going to be a little funky, but we'll try it. Uh, I'll go ahead and activate herd three times. Because I think it's going to be really important to maintain my cash flow going to the late game. Uh, and then I'm going to place craftsman. Purchasing, no, yes, yes, throne maker. I guess throne maker is interesting just because it actually hurt. It's both the wood carver and the ivory carver. Exactly. Uh, Is that the best spot for it? It's a I mean, spot not... for it. Well, the only reason I say it in that way is because you're not contesting Lily for any of the wood that she has access to. Um, like, if this is meant to be a targeted assault. Uh, that's true. Hold on, let me think about it more. The issue is your wood kind of took your water kind of took some of the spots I would have liked to put it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and if I go down here, one, two, three, one, two, they both have access. It's near the wood. Actually, interestingly enough, it, you now no longer have to worry about having access to the ivory carver. That that kind of fixes that problem for. Uh, both of them. You don't have to yeah. pay hub costs at all for the exactly. carver if you put it there. Yeah, we'll do that spot. Uh, it's going to increase my VR by 3 and my victory points by 2. Uh, do, do, do. Put those over. Put that there. Pay for it. Uh, we'll set a price of 2, probably. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. It doesn't matter to Lily. Yeah, that only really impacts me and you. Yeah, so like I want it to be annoying for you, but not too annoying for me, which means probably two, I guess. Okay. And I think that's my turn. Okay, uh, revenue. One, two, three, four. God, there's so much money in this game. Yeah. This is this is what happens when you pump money into the economy. Inflation, basically. Anyway. Alan, you are first to bid. Yeah, I guess I'll just do one. You're not gonna start big like I, last time? I tried to do something fresh and it didn't quite work. I'll bid two. I 
think maybe the next game of Shadow Pinyi is in the game. I take it just because I want I want to know how how wonky that changes this turn order thing. <laughs> High bid is two. Current bid is two, yeah. Current high yeah, bid is two, sorry. You would have to do three. I'm actually finding right now that being highest VR and always having to bid early and counter bid against other people is kind of difficult actually yeah like, even if i bid high other people behind me can just bid higher and i've typically locked myself out of the bidding at that point mm -hmm. yeah i think my favorite position in the auction is last uh i'd still rather be first than middle though middle is just right. agony every time i've been I there for i'm out Yeah, I'll bid five. One, two, three, four, five. I want to be able to look at it. Yep, that's fair. We're all at five currently. Okay. Okay, one minute. I don't like that. Let's see here. What happens if I stop? I'm at. I think either way, it's better that I stop, so I will just pass. Okay. I wanted to make it a thing, and it just doesn't make sense. Okay. Uh, wonder if I'll ever get to go first again in this game. Uh, I will be right back. Okay.
I think what I do... Let's have regrets. Regrets are always good. Bless you, Sneezy. I think I pay six to herd. And build a craftsman. No, no, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Hold on, let me think about this. I don't like that at all. I miss goo. <laughs> this is not looking good for me. How did I get here? I believe in you. Uh... All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. It's fine. I'm okay, still nothing has happened. I'm still thinking. <laughs> I've just been listening to Garrick like complain and be upset with his life, and it's really fun. Garrick is in the best position. <laughs> yeah, but I, I'm very worried about Lily, Lily's position. Part of me wants to take Sculptor to attempt to hurt it, but I feel like it's hurting my position too much to do so. I mean, I think Baker is already super awkward enough because it not only increases the cost of using Ivory Carver, but it also takes the resources of Wood Carver. Right. I don't particularly think you need Sculptor. I 
I'll say this. I think taking Sculptor mostly just hurts my position, which is a thing, but I don't know if it helps your position enough to justify it. Yeah. And me, I just want to keep playing water. <laughs> Connect water, all the water, water is, everywhere. Is that your goal? Connect. I the, mean, connect I, the ocean. It would be pretty sweet, except all this shit is in the way. <laughs> fair, fair. Oh. <sighs> New side goal, since I can't win one contiguous body of water. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Nothing else. We will drown this land. I mean, you already started by drowning honestly, the cloud, so okay, you're halfway there. Like, okay, so, like, honestly, functionally for the game, I wish Rain Ceremony could do that. Right? I wish I could just be like, nope, that wood's gone. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna not think about this too much. We're gonna activate herd three times. Gotta get your money. And we'll raise monuments. Uh raising this one, obviously. We'll pay myself two. And thus Lily two. Wait. Why is there a cow under the card? Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, paying Alan one and one. So you raised it from two to three? Yeah. Okay. That gives Thanks. me four points. That's... One, two, three, four. Yep, I think that's it. Regrets. All the regrets. Okay. I think I will also raise monuments. So I'll use up the rest of my stuff here. Um, so that gets me one step for two. And then four on the wood carver gets me uh, the other two steps for two of them. And that uses up that, 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 all of the clay is gone. And what is left? If I wanted to try to do one more, I could do that. And then I think there's enough for one more upgrade if you dip into ivory. Mm, but, but I don't, I don't think money. Yeah, you don't have enough money. I'm one cattle shy, which is a just truly sad state of affairs. But it is what it is, so I will gain eight. Points go up to twenty. Very nice. Um so grab that and that. Doesn't really matter which ones I do. And I'm gonna put some more water on the board, cause reasons. <laughs>
I'm just debating with myself if there's a place that is particularly beneficial for it. So let me think. Hmm. Lily, you're at, yeah, you're at three for both of your monuments. So for you to take it up to four for either of those, you would have to have clay. So I think I'm safe to start making a few connections here. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll do that right there. Uh, that's my turn, I believe. Um, okay. One point for you. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yep. Okay. That's the round. Everyone get your revenue. All right, and we do it again. Oh, Lily has too much money. She does indeed. She does indeed. Bidding one. <laughs> Look, I don't, what I learned that time is that bidding super high, super fast just leads to me dumping a bunch of economy. You bidding 16, Lily? Yes, I am. It hurts me. It hurts me. Well, I suppose that's one way of making the person in last hurt in turn order. Although, Garrick got a ton from that. I mean, uh, I got some money too. Let me make sure this is logical. Yeah, I think that's right. No, that... Yeah, okay. And I think it's the only way to guarantee first for you. Yes. No, this is how I have to do this. Okay. I think that's good. All right. Let's see if I did this right. Sounds like the winning turn to me. Uh, dupe. 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 And that is... For this guy, he can reach everything, no problem. And that's six. And then we do the other guy. Um, he's also fine for reach. And I should block off resources. Wait, did this one reach the throne maker? Oh, you're right, it doesn't. Uh, I'll pay for a... I was looking at the wrong thing. 
I'll pay for the hub. Thanks for pointing that out. Yep. Uh, oh, no, this doesn't really matter. And that's another six. Two. Three. Man, I cannot do math, apparently. Every time I did this, it made it was 28, and that is not how math works. And then we'll do the wood carver for this guy here because the wood carver now can reach all the way over here. Thanks, Alan. Yep, Alan opened up one spot yeah. for it. I could have done it either way. Wait. I would have just placed this differently. What? What's, what's the ivory carver stuff, pay? Hey? Uh, it does have to pay for both of them? Both, so bo both craftsmen have to you use have resources. You should have paid one, two, th so use the wood carver twice. Three times. Three times. Use the throne maker twice, twice. so that's five wood. I've still got an Ansi. No, you're, you're limited by the number of things on here is what I'm saying. Uh, uh, I mean, no, I think it works, though, because no, there's cause, five yeah, wood I, and two ivory within range. Yeah. The, the, the throne maker went to this wood and to this wood. And then the wood carver did this one, this one, and this one. Well, you upgraded both of these using throne maker or no, just the one? No, I used both of, both of them using throne maker. So then you're using throne maker three times? For a hub. No, I'm not using Third Maker for this one. I'm using oh. only Wood Carver. Got it. Wood Carver. Got it. That's just this a level is, one. Yeah, that's just a level one Wood Carver over this resource. Got it. I thought I heard you say Throne Maker, and I was asking about that. Nope. 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 And that's two hit points. Yeah. You did this, Alan. Uh, all right. You did this. I mean, she, Alternatively, she places her thing within range of... Uh, yeah, of that one, and then I would have just had these two. But because Alan had already done this, I knew that this was fine to do as well. Yeah. And I'd rather have one less resource I need to deal with for the bidding process. God. All right. Well, that is the game. I won for once! This is my first time winning t uh, Zimbabwe, I think. That's not cheating. <laughs> yeah. I'm still, like, struggling to figure out the economy of this game. Because, like... A Nazi messes things up. It, it does. Yeah. And I think... I think not jumping straight to three probably did you some favors, because you got a lot of early game economy off of that. Yeah, if I had put it at three, I feel like you guys would have made other craftsmen especially because I put down crap where you could have played other craftsmen. Um, like, had I put down the potter, I think that, and put that at three, there was nothing you'd be able to do about that one. But the other two, I feel like you could have made more craftsmen, even though it kind of would have sucked. It would have at least, there was at least some yeah. ways to, like, circumnavigate it. But if I had done potter and just set it at three, that would have been pretty brutal for the rest of the game. This is why I was afraid I needed sculptor. Because I knew you could explode uh, like this. Well, I mean, she would have half the number of wood spaces, which would increase, which would severely limit how much she could have bursted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I was the, trying. The, the, I was the problem with things like that is you're like self limiting in an effort to limit the other player as well. Right. Which means you've now spent your entire turn trying to push them back and they get a free turn to essentially recover. Um, wherein you end up further behind while they end up kind of static. Yeah. Like this, it, this feels like a game where it's actively difficult to really punch your opponents. Um, I mean, you kind of, it almost feels like the best way to, affect your opponent's economy is to always be able to go first in turn order which just requires you have a ton of cattle all the time so that you can jump in on gobbling up resources before they can yeah i think 
It was kind of an interesting thing for me was I really being in the middle for um, the bid order. I decided pretty early that I was either unless I was really gunning for first, I was going to go last. Well, yeah. what's... That, that was my that was the decision I made to like, I just like it was like, screw it. Like, I just won't bid anything and I'll just get money from that and hope that that's enough to like help my economy carry me through. Especially yeah. Since you and... two are making more economy than I was. And that and that was like that was essentially what fed your economy most of the game like yeah you were getting some money off of your craftsman but i think you probably got more money just off of turn order oh for sure shenanigans for sure yeah like i i definitely feel like um i think looking back i either went first or last i just like refused to be in the middle <laughs> i want to play shut up in ye <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like I want to play Shadow Pinyi and then do what you were talking about of just like passing most of the time, like play from last unless it's like really important for burst turns. Mm -hmm. I think I got greedy. I think that was the problem. Like I tried to stretch to three monuments too early while also doing stuff with a uh, craftsman. Mm -hmm. I think it, it's really. And I think, God. It, well, just just like it, it made it so that I was, it was too late for me to really jump into upgrading without there being tons of competition. Like sudden, like all of my upgrades were happening at a cost of two or more. Yeah. Every turn. Like I needed, I needed early cheap upgrades to boost my economy. And just like make it so I wasn't trying to stretch for all of my points at the end of the game. Yeah, I also I feel like um, it, there's a weird line between the the tall and the wide the wide strategy with like the wide strategy. Like you want to go really wide. Like I feel like it's like you're not upgrading unless you've got like five monuments down or something. Like I it's. I don't know. I kind of want to like test out the wide strategy a bit more because I feel like at most we build like three monuments, which I don't think truly is a good wide strategy. But yeah, I, I wonder. Maybe there was a call to do Obatala and take this Potter and just hopefully be able to get up to five monuments early enough that you can upgrade all of them for just five cattle. Yeah, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. which would have been. 10 points in a single turn. I mean, the big it's reason to, say. to limit your width is because the, the big point thresholds are as you get up, you know? So yeah. you, you don't want, like, you know, five monuments getting up to level two. You want three monuments getting up to level three because that's more profitable. I mean, yeah, yeah totally. But at the same time, like, I, I am curious about, like, a truly wide strategy. Yeah. Just because, like, you're able to balance so much more with having so many out, you're able to kind of, like, mix and match what you need almost and just take up as much as you yeah. can. I yeah, do but... think a wide strategy has to have Obatala, though. That's fair. It's tough because it almost needs nomads as well, just so that you're not cannibalizing your own space. I also, I'm worried Obatala is too overcosted for it because. Mm hmm. Just like Engai gives you so much good economy, and that's only at five, and Herd gives you so much good economy, and that's at six, and then Obatala being at seven, really, it feels well. Weird. So the I guess the thing with Obatala is like, yeah, going wide feels weird, but think about it. Like any turn, you can choose to just put down two monuments, and that's two VP right there. It's true. That's like, true. That's, that's a true. lot of flexibility, and if you can upgrade those two to three. It, but it's over not, the course of two turns, it's six points. But at the same time, it's not truly two VP. It's only a net gain of one because you were going to get that one VP regardless as long as you took that action. I suppose. I, I think of it more in the terms of how it drives behavior. But because like I might not I might not choose to put down a ton of monuments. I might choose to only put down one or two over the course of the game on average. Yeah, but if I but if true. I have Obatala, maybe I'm choosing to do that action three, maybe even four times over the course of the game. And then I just always have a bunch of monuments that can be readily upgraded cheaply at any point, weaving in upgrades at times when it normally wouldn't have made sense. Mm -hmm. 
But it is hard to see without trying that if that actually leads to a victory. Because it's not an it does it doesn't grow economy at all, so you still have to probably go in on a craftsman somewhere. With, like I want to know: is there a way to completely avoid craftsmen? And I, I mean, I was don't. I was doing a pretty good job of it for most of the game. Yeah, uh, I I think I think I'm gonna go back on the conventional wisdom we were talking about before. I think herd is better than end guy. It again, like so much of my game was only enabled because I got that one cow in the first turn. Like that one cow uh, was all the difference. Yeah, I, possibly. But I mean, I think that there's a there's but there's a potentially strong argument if you want to go without a craftsman, even if you even if you have to pay one to get heard the first turn, you know, whatever. You probably just like at the worst place a monument, and at the best you're able to upgrade a monument. I mean, you were able to upgrade for one cattle. You didn't need the extra cattle in that first turn. You know. Um, so, I mean, you were able to get her to activate it. You paid one to my Potter in order to upgrade your thing, and then you had an effective income that turn of three. Which was exactly what I got that turn, without having to take up your only god slot. In fact, most of the t most of the game, you had a better income than I did because I wasn't upgrading my monuments. True. It's weird because I I do feel like end guy because it has the plus two, it does give the room to go for a wide strategy. But like, it's definitely also it rewards either way. So I don't feel like it's really focused if yeah sense. well that's why i like i said that that's why i was not focusing on upgrading monuments is because i kind of was leaning on end guy for my income most of the game but i think that ended up hurting me like i think the way to play end guy is to lean into it and go for a tall strategy personally after trying it the other way i feel like it would have been a, a lot better outcome mm-hmm because I could have really quick burst up to having a three level or even four level monument. And from there, you know, six, six cattle a turn is pretty damn good. Yeah, it's finding the right balance between going wide and going tall early versus late is so crucial to the game. Mm hmm. Yeah, I do wonder if the other thing I did wrong, I think maybe going into Vessel Maker as opposed to, say, Throne Maker or Sculptor was incorrect. I don't know. It's... Then, like... I do think that it would have been good for you to kind of like monopolize somebody else's, um, uh, i.e. mine, uh, like try to monopolize my um, economy to make sure I would have to pay you when I was going into my own things. Um, because I'm already paying you for Potter, but then it does it does open me up to doing the exact same thing to you. So it's it's hard, right? Well, it... and that was that was why I did it that way. So like my pr my problem was you as a non C, if you had gotten Vessel Maker and you had components of all three, and you just shoved the price up to three to be spiteful, <laughs> Garrick and I just get locked out of the game almost. Mm hmm. That's like almost the entire reason I went Potter v Vessel Maker is I was looking at it and trying to see like how would I even engage with that if you chose to take Vessel Maker. Like I wasn't really worried about Garrick taking it, because um, you know Garrick. That's the interesting thing with the the Craftsman costs is like you can't price it so high that you can't afford it. Yeah, fair. Unless you have a Nazi. Yeah, or alternatively, Siva. But I felt like op I felt like a Nancy being in the game meant Siva was pointless. I think Ziva does better with more players because there's more. It, it gives you more people to react to and potentially undercut. I think in a three-player game, there's just not enough diversity of like salesmen 
and and yeah. buyers the, to take advantage of it. This is true. Yeah, I wonder too. I mean, I think there's a lot of interesting closed loop problems that are happening at three player that I feel like just even one more player would effectively solve it. Yeah. Also, I just hate the map being this small. I want more tiles. I know, I do too. I keep like I was making the map again today, and I was just like, I'm getting a little bored of this shape. Yeah. Well, it's just like I mean, as long as you can make the connections you need using water, like the cent this central area of the map just becomes so damn powerful. Yeah. Granted, I broke that a little bit by taking rain ceremony but like then what even is the value of rain ceremony i, oh, I mean you i mean you you demonstrated the value yeah i think i went too far with it i think i just needed these two and i think I after think that, that I, don't, I don't think this one was necessarily a bad one but i do think this one was a little bit much yeah this... well, like so every i what i was trying to do was in setting this up, if if having set that up, I could connect to any wood tile on the map yeah. to connect it. And my idea was if I'm going later in turn order I and need to be able to do an upgrade, I just wanted to be able to make these connections to create new opportunities for myself in the moment. Yeah. When I did this one, it was just an error in logic, which was, well, Lily can't use this one this turn anyways. I wasn't considering the next well, turn. Obviously, she can just go first. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, you know, even then, the play that she did, she could have met using just Vessel Maker, so it didn't really matter. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that, that was the whole point of what I was trying to do was when I laid this one, like, I had the three cattle to spare. I wasn't trying to make any connections at the time. And so no, I yeah, I... Myself more options. I totally got this one. It was, it was this one where I was questioning it. Which is I, fair. I will I mean, say, for the two of you who are tired with this map, we do have a sacrificial lamb in our chat true. who has offered himself up. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> And I will admit, Alan, chat at all, but I will admit some of my gripe with this is just the fact that I could have won on my turn. So, <laughs> well, I mean, I wonder. That's why I had to go first. I knew yeah. it. No, yeah. I was I hoping mean, you I wouldn't see that. that. I I wonder if I had been able to get in there. If I had been able to get in first, I might have been able to pull off a win. I believe as it as well. I mean, I only needed. 12 points so all i really needed to do was be able to upgrade my two level threes to level four which wasn't out of reach mm -hmm. but, that, but again that's the the problem of like okay i can spend all of my cattle getting first in turn order and then i can't afford any of the damn upgrades right exactly oh. It was actually interesting because I knew last round I wanted to skip. I knew I did not want to be first. I, I didn't want to give up any money, but I actually bid to just so this way y'all wouldn't be like suspicious of me and you would give me money. <laughs> oh, I, I, I figured you were you were just trying to, to take money no matter what. Yeah, I do love this. That's I think that's the interplay that I've been missing is like choosing when to pass early so that other people are feeding you money. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's strategically just something that I haven't been playing with much, but need to start doing so. Of course, if we all just start <laughs> passing in the hopes that <laughs> other people feed us money, I guess it's really only the first person to pass that gets that value but then mm -hmm. maybe the second person to pass does it out of spite <laughs> <laughs> well, well fine i'll go second the auction's really interesting in this game yeah well the auction is another thing too where i feel like at a higher player count without i yeah. think the three person loop one makes it too cheap to go in so like 
oh, I'm going to bid six. I only actually lose four of these, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. At, at a higher player count, that's like all fucked up, which is part of the reason I'm like, yeah, let me play Shadapiny next time. <laughs> just, just to make it harder for you guys to bid at all. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Well, I should go ahead and shut this down. Uh, thanks, y'all, for playing, of course. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching. This was Splatter Sunday, The Great Zimbabwe. We will be back next week with more. Uh, yeah. What's tomorrow? Oh, it looks like a feast for Odin tomorrow, I believe. Yes. Well, you got it scheduled and people signed up. I don't know why you're saying yes. I didn't. <laughs> I was not the one to schedule that. Thank you very much. Oh, you didn't? Oh, I figured you did. Uh, yeah, I think, I think some of this did. yeah, so a feast for Odin on the docket tomorrow, uh, and we will see you then. Have a great evening, and uh, catch you later.